you have to make money to survive in our society. So I probably wish that the dollar just didn't govern my life so much, that there wasn't this necessary, this absolute <laughs> thing about having to make money to exist in our society. And reality that strikes me where you gotta make money. You can't survive in our society if you ain't making money. So because this exists in our world, then it's like, all right, well, if, if I'm gonna live in abundance, that means I need more money. You can talk about, hey, money doesn't drive me, money isn't what I'm in it for, but ultimately it's such a significant piece of surviving in our society. Detaching yourself from money would, would then mean that you're detaching yourself from, I don't know, the, the gains of society. I'm just, I'm just thinking like, well, if you have to make money, and we all know that, I think that there's a reality that exists for us that you gotta do it. You gotta go out here, and in order to be able to survive in here, you, you have to make money. This notion that you can just live off of what? Like go live off the land? That's just not a reality for a lot of us. None of, most of us don't know anything about nature, living in nature. So we absolutely have to live off like this system that's been built. And we pay into it, you know, we pay taxes, right? We pay taxes into it so that the government provides for us. And in return for like, all these things being taken care of us for us, we got to work. <laughs> we got to work. And unless you're willing to, to completely 100% take care of yourself, then you got to work. And like, by take care of yourself, I mean, literally, you out in the wild. And who wants to do that? Who wants to do that? None of us, really. Some of us do. I romanticize it as if I you know, want to be out there like I'm not staying in a house where the AC's blowing cool air. <laughs> you know, it's it's a wild thing because I want to like have all these luxuries in my life. You know, I want to, I want to, I don't want to suffer. But this is probably what the Buddha be talking about when you, you, you're going to suffer in life, man. <laughs> you, you're going to suffer. You're going to suffer. And, I, and suffering comes in so many different modes and degrees, you know? Anytime you have a conflict within yourself, you're suffering. It's causing you angst. I think that anytime you're not in a state of pleasure, you're in a state of suffering, <laughs> you know? We, we, we have a difficult time as human beings distinguishing between the two. We, we, we're in either pain or pleasure. And I think that that's when you try to get into meditation and the meditative state is to not is to exist in between, right? Like if there's, a, there's a, a space in between pain and pleasure and that's like being content. And that's something we struggle with. Like human beings, we have a very difficult time with being content. We come out of the womb and it's, we're taken care of. Very much so, we are like very vulnerable beings when we come out. You see other beings in the wild, like they come out, if they not walking, man, the pack is leaving you, bro. Nah, not with us, you know, we take, we gotta be taken care of a lot, like from zero to maybe eight years old or something, where where we can't, where we can be efficient on our own by ourselves. And that doesn't really leave us. So we get 40 and we're still like, oh, you know, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I need to be taken care of, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, and we convince ourselves that we don't. We can convince ourselves, especially as men, we convince ourselves that we don't. Like, we're just going to be out here working all crazy. And like, nah, nobody really wants to live that way. But you have to, you know? And I think that's the dissonance that, that we experience. Um, so I don't know. And these are just my thoughts for the moment. Um, what do you guys think?